Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Miss Mona with you. Today we will have unit 13. How are you, Mr. D? Today we will have the usage of first, next, then, after that, and finally. Oh, Miss Mona, I don't want to study. What do you want? I want to play. Really, Mr. D? Okay, we will play a very nice game. Let's start. Do you know this game? It's called Ball, Sheep and Cabbage. We want to help this man and these things to cross the river. Oh, it's a very nice game, but how can I play it? Okay, Mr. D, you have to read this to know how to play. Read carefully because I will ask you questions. Okay. Safe wanted to cross the river. But he had a wolf, sheep, and cabbage. There was a small boat. He could only take one thing with him. He couldn't leave the sheep with the wolf. And he couldn't leave the sheep with the cabbage. Can you help him? Of course, I can, miss. Okay, I will ask you questions now. How many things Safe can take with him? Can he take two things? No, only one. Very good. Okay, can he leave the sheep with the cabbage and go? No, no he can't. Because the sheep will eat the cabbage. Okay, um, can he leave the sheep with the cabbage? No, he will eat it. Okay, Mr. D, Start. it's some kind of puzzle. What can we do? Let's see these pictures. What can we do, Mr. D? We have here pictures for the puzzle. Look at it and try to rearrange it to know how can we solve this puzzle. I will tell you the first. The first, the first picture is number C. He will put the sheep in the boat and leave the wolf with the cabbage. That's number one. That's what he will do first. Okay, now look carefully and try to rearrange. We said that's the number one. Yes, and that's number two. Okay, first he will put the sheep in the small boat and leave the wolf with the cabbage. Next, he will take the sheep to the other side of the river and leave it there. After that, he will come back and take the cabbage to the other side of the river. But he couldn't leave the cabbage with the sheep, so... He will take the sheep with him and come back. Then he will take the wolf and leave the sheep. He will leave the wolf with the cabbage. Finally, he will come back without taking anything and take the sheep and go back to cabbage and wolf. Now he has three things. Sheep, cabbage, and wolf. Excellent, Mr. D. That's right. Now it's your turn to tell me how can I play the game. First, put the sheep in the boat. And next, take the sheep to the other side of the river and leave it there. <laughs> then return to the cabbage and wolf. After that, put the wolf in the boat and take it across the river to the sheep. I couldn't leave the wolf with the sheep. Can't leave the, the sheep with the wolf. So, lift the wolf and take the sheep across the river to the cabbage. After that, leave the sheep and take the cabbage. 
go back. <laughs> Finally, put the sheep in the boat for the third time and take it across the river. <laughs> now, now, now he had the sheep, cabbage, and the wolf together. Well done. Excellent. It's your turn now. Write a short paragraph about this story. You have to include a sequence of events. That means you will use first, next, then, and after that. And you have to use finally. Thank you. I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. Goodbye. Don't forget to play the game. Goodbye.